Hey everyone and welcome to today's tutorial. In this video I will show you how to set up your own spot grid trading bot on the Binance exchange. That's right, Binance actually does have trading bots. I myself didn't know this until a few days ago too, so without further ado let's get right into it. First off, you want to make sure that you're logged in and once you're logged in, simply go over to trade and click on strategy trading. Trading made easy, trade like a pro. If you're not familiar with a spot grid trading bot by the way, I will just explain simply what it does. It will increase your profits in an uptrend, it will accumulate more coins in the neutral trend, allowing you to still make money even though the percentage gain of the coin itself didn't go up, and when the price goes down, so in a bear market for example, it will minimize losses. In another video I made about the Qcoin spot grid trading bot, I actually explained it very well, so for that reason I will reuse that part in this video to explain you the mechanics behind a spot grid trading bot. So let's say this is our maximum price and our lowest price. Now a grid is basically a line that is on every level. I'm not gonna make this chart very good looking, I'm sorry for that, but it's just for the example. Now in this case there's 15 grids. The lowest price, there's 13 in between and the highest price. Now what a grid is, is basically if the price as of right now is right here and it goes down, your bot will buy into the coin every grid it goes down and when the grid goes up or the price action goes up i mean the grid will be sold so this grid right here will sell right here this one will sell right here and this one will sell right here now when it goes down it will buy once again because it's a bot and it can do that very very consistent and this is basically how you can optimize profits while holding a coin as well which i think is really cool now if the price goes up higher than you ever bought your coins at, you might be like, well, how do I sell? Uh, you don't. It's pretty simple, your bot doesn't sell, so it's basically neutral. And then when the price goes back down, your bot will buy again. And if it goes up at any point once again, it will sell. So this is how the profits work. Now the grids, I just want to show this to you because it's important to understand what you're doing with your money. The grids are basically connected. This is a grid pair, this is a grid pair, this is a grid pair. And you can see that this one has not sold yet. A simple way to understand it is the grid you buy at will be sold one grid higher. You can also see that the first time you bought into this coin, in this example, would be sold right here. Even though I didn't make it red in your thoughts, this should be red. That's a mistake of mine, I'm sorry. And then these are the grid connections once again. Now I hope I explained the level of grids clearly to you. If not, let me know in the comments down below so I can explain it to you further. But this is basically how grids work. Now Binance actually offers two types of trading strategies. One of them is the spot grid trading bot and the other one is the um, futures grid bot. There's also something called smart trading but we won't go into that in this video. Now what you're going to do is to go over to the strategy pool and right here you can take a look at all of the pools or the strategies being used on Binance. Just so you guys know, there's over 34,000 active strategies right now with a total value over 95 million US dollars. Now when you go over to the spot grid bot and go over to return on investment, you'll see a lot of spot grid bots with over a few hundred percent in just one year. Now there's one thing I want to make clear about this. As you can see, all of these bots have been running for at least two months, most of them 70 to 100 days. Now as you guys also can see, all of these pairs are GMT slash BUSD which probably means the token just grew a lot and it's not per se the bot doing all the work. That's why you actually need to look at PNL because right here you can see actual big investors, so wealthy investors, using this bot too and still making quite some profit. For example right here, an Ethereum slash BUSD bot with 28% return of investment in just 27 days. I actually just realized I said this wrong it's the amount they already made in just this amount of time. It's not the amount they will make per year. So 1% a day is actually incredibly good. Right here there's another pair, BNB slash Ethereum. And you're making more than 1% a day too. Right here also more than 1% a day. And now with all of that being shown, there's a lot of money to be made right here. Now with all of that being said, let's get right into it. Also, if you're interested in how to set up a futures grid bot, make sure to watch this video in the top right. Now really let's get started. What you're going to do is to click on create strategy. You'll then be sent over to this page. And since we want to create a spot grid strategy, we're going to click on create. 
A trading pair exists out of two coins, the first coin and the second coin. You can trade with all of these coins, so USDT, BUSD, BNB, Bitcoin and Ethereum, XRP, Tron, Doge and DOT as the altcoins. Now I'm going to search for the coin I would like to leverage against my BUSD. Let's say that would be Cardano, you're going to click on that pair. You can then see right here the minimum investment required. If you're not willing to invest 500 BUSD, you should look for a coin that's less used by this bot or by the Binance users so that the minimum investment is lower. Now let's try TRX. I'm actually not sure if that's more popular or less popular. It's a bit less popular. You can invest with only $273 or BUSD. So once you've found the pair you would like to use, simply go over to Auto and click on 7 days, 30 days or 180 days for Binance to automatically calculate the lower price, upper price, grid numbers and the profit pair grid with the fees being deducted already. Now as you can see the time period means that you will be advised on different recommended parameters on the duration of the strategy. Now I myself like to use the, the manual settings, so I will go over to manual. Now the first thing you need to decide is if you want to use Artometric, I'm not sure if I pronounce it correctly, or Geometric Increments. Artometric is each grid has an equal price difference, and using Geometric each grid has an equal price difference ratio, so that's in percentage. Now I myself actually prefer this one, if you're not sure just go with any of the two, it won't make a too big difference, but for the long term I myself would recommend Geometric. Now the lower price is the lowest price point at which your bot will still spot grid trade. So since I want to invest for the long term I will just look at a low price point on this chart and the high price point with it being 0 0.06 right now would be 0 0.12. It would still allow TRX to double in price before my bot will stop working. Actually because the all time high is at 18 I will just put it closer to that amount so 15. So I don't have to worry about this and only if crypto gets a new bull run or at least a bull trap I would have to change the parameters. Now the amount of grids is the amount of trades in between the upper price and the lower price. If you don't understand it I'd recommend to watch the first part of this video in which I explained the mechanical background of this bot. Now I myself like to use the highest amount of grids possible just so there's more trades going on. You can see that the profit pair grid with the fees being deducted is over 1% which is absolutely not bad. Also something to note as the higher your range goes the more you will require to invest. And if you'd like to invest smaller amounts I'd actually recommend watching this video in the top right corner on how to use the Qcoin trading bot. So just because I don't want to invest $4,000 in Tron right now, I'll go over to 30 days right here. And for the sake of this tutorial, I'll just enter 300 BUSD. I'm going to click on create. You'll see the grid order confirmation. If you confirm to set up this grid, a certain amount of TRX might be bought at the best available price. And you're just going to click on I have read and agree to the risk claimer, blah, blah, blah. Click on confirm. And now the grid bot has been created successfully. So right here is the bolt running and working and now this bolt will be working 24 7 accumulating more TRX using the BUSD in my spot grid wallet. I'll keep you updated so maybe in a few weeks or a few months I will show you how this bolt performed. So I'll see you there. Make sure to like this video if it helped you out and if you do still have any questions at all feel free to ask them in the comments down below. Thanks for watching.